A dream, a dream was where it all began. From the vision of the leader of a young country, and the genius of a resolute architect, the birth of a new city took place. In 1949, just post-independence, Albert Meyer was appointed to start work on this one-of-a-kind city which would be a benchmark for all other cities in India. He was soon succeeded by the prodigal architect Le Corbusier, who would go on to build this marvel of a city called Chandigarh. Le Corbusier designed many administration buildings, including the High Court, the Palace of Assembly and the Secretariat Building. The general layout of the city, followed a grid system, dividing it into sectors. His aesthetics are carried forward to his furniture designs, accompanied by his cousins Pierre Gineret, which are present in most of the buildings, showcasing the early years of modern architecture. Where all roads lead to Rome, Chandigarh was built on a similar principle with a grid design, making it the first planned city of India. Over 50 villages at the time were put under development to build this modern city. From the dream to reality, Chandigarh has been a success story of many visionaries and their years of reverence. From then to now, the city has gained its rich heritage. Whether administrative buildings or residential houses, the beauty of the past is prominent in all aspects. With a smart city initiative that has preserved and restored these heritage sites, the young generation has a lot to learn from the achievements of the time. Time spares none, and these buildings too went through its tests of wear and tear, but the restoration efforts taken by the administration, have turned back the needles of the clock. The city offers more than one can ask in terms of beauty and culture that one has to see in person to truly experience. The capital complex, located in Sector 1 of the city, has been declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site, commending Corbusier's contribution to modern-day architecture. Attractions like the Rose Garden and Sukhna Lake are prominent tourist spots for their natural splendor and design. As it was established then, Chandigarh truly is the city beautiful.